Hello lovely people and welcome back to my channel. My name is Oshale and you're watching Oshi Reads. And today's video we are going to talk about the amazing Noria over at Noria Reads who has this amazing readathon that she began last year and it is continuing on this year and it is running for the entire month of July and it is called the Fuckathon. And that is probably the only time I will say the full name of the readathon right now because the girl is not trying to get demonetized for this video. I need all of my coins. But yes, the Fuckathon, ooh, well, hmm, screw it, I already said it again. So the Fathon is going on for the month of July. So it began on Wednesday, July 1st, and it will run through Friday, July 31st. And there are some amazing prompts in this readathon. This is probably one of the most innovative, original, and kick-ass readathons I've ever seen. And I didn't get an opportunity to participate in it last year, unfortunately, but that's why I am so thrilled to announce that I will be participating in this readathon this year. And thankfully it is for a whole entire month, so my July TBR can double as my Fathon TBR. So I'd like to introduce you to the prompts, and for each prompt I will let you know which book I will be reading. So without much ado, let us begin. Also, obviously, the amazing Noria's channel will be linked down below and probably up here in the cards, and you can definitely go watch her video. She's also a freakishly prolific booktuber because she has literally made a recommendations video for every single one of the prompts. We stan. We stan so hard, a prolific queen. Shout out to Noria. I got so many of the books that uh, I decided to include in my TBR from all of those recommendations that she did. <sighs> Thank you. You did the labor for me, girl. I appreciate you so much. So if you are looking for books for some of these prompts, I definitely recommend the videos that she's made down below. And, and she's also included a document, a Google Doc, with lists of books for each prompt. I'm telling you. <laughs> amazing what a labor of love but anyways let's go ahead and get right into the video let us begin prompt number one f ableism read a book with a main character with visible or invisible disabilities and for this book i'm picking up a book that i was sent an arc of ages ago i think it was beginning of last summer or spring and i never got around to it and so many people have raved about this book so i'm super excited to finally read get a life chloe brown by talia hibbert um yeah i don't know what else to say it's a romance a lot of people really like talia hibbert so I actually really enjoy her books. I've mostly read her on my Kindle in ebook format. So I was really happy to get this arc and it's time for me to finally get into it. Mm. A few things about this book. Yes, it is an interracial romance and it's so cute. I got like a little note in here. Oh, I really need to get to it. And now I will. Thank you, Ethathon. Prompt number two. F. Ageism. Read a book that centers a main character 50 years and older living their best life. And you'll see me on my uh, phone a lot for this because um, your girl made notes. But for this one, I chose another book that people rave about and call their favorite book all the time here on BookTube. And that's The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. It is finally time for me to get into this one. This is by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Again, so many people stand this book so hard and it's finally time for me to find out what all the hype is about. I'm excited. Prompt number three. F. Capitalism. Capitalism. <laughs> Look at me saying it like Noria. Capitalism. Read a book with main characters that try to subvert, trick, swindle, survive, or make the best of a capitalist system. For this one, I chose another book that I've been meaning to get to or get into for a while, and that is The Parable of the Sower by Octavia E. Butler, darling. Octavia Butler, the queen. The queen. And I'm super excited because a lot of reviews that I, tr reviewers that I trust and my friends here on booktube absolutely love Octavia Butler's books and you know I just I want to be a part of that I want to be a part of the stan club and yeah this is a perfect opportunity and I cannot wait there's also a graphic novel so I think I might actually read the novel and then go back and acquire the graphic novel and read that one and kind of have that dual like that duality in my reading experience to make it a more enriching and um, just interesting reading experience overall. 
Prompt number four, F, white supremacy. Read a book that challenges white supremacy ideology. And it's actually a book that I'm currently reading right now via audiobook, and this is stamped from the beginning by Ibram um, Kendi. I want to say it's Ibram. I feel like he has a middle initial in there. I'm going to pull up the audiobook, but I am completely enraptured and shocked <laughs> of out of all the education that I have acquired and even going to school for and majoring or at least one of my majors was African American studies I don't even know why I continue to be shocked but Ibram did such an amazing job breaking this down breaking down the history of our country the foundations um, how it's so racism is so embedded into the fabric of this nation in so many ways on every level in so many different industries and infrastructures so I definitely want to get his name correct so I'm about to pull up pull up on you hopes I'm in an interesting mood today can y'all tell I have so many different ways of consuming audiobooks that I literally have to go through all of my platforms but yes yeah, stamped from the beginning by Ibram X Kendi and I'm, pr I'm pretty sure I'm pr pronouncing his name correctly, at least I hope so. But that's my current read right now, F White Supremacy, absolutely. Now for the next prompt, let's see. Prompt number five is F Theological Fundamentalism or Religious Intolerance. And it says, read a book with the main character who practices a religion separate from yours. I'm going to put the cover of the book that I will end up choosing right here because I have no idea what to choose. She did give some great, great options on her Google Docs that I need to take a closer look at and kind of make my final selection. But whatever I decide will be right here. And if you've read it, definitely let me know your thoughts down below. Prompt number six is F book elitism. Read the trashiest, cheesiest, most tropey book on your shelf. Now, as y'all know, I have a lot of trashy and cheesy books, although you know, y'all know I don't believe in trash books. And again, that is an upcoming video. Ignore Tobe. He does this every time I film. Why? Why must you do this? He's waited all day for this moment. Anyways, um, you know I don't believe in trash books and I love a lot of cheesy books because I love romance. So I just picked a random book that is a new release that I've been wanting to get to. And this is dun -dun -dun -dun, The Betrothed by Kira Cass. And y'all know Kira Cass is the author of the selection series. I have mixed feelings about the last two books in the selection series, but I absolutely adored the first three. So I've been meaning to get to this. This is going to be a romance. Obviously, there's a girl in a beautiful gown on the cover. We already know what's up. Prompt number seven, F gentrification. Read a book with characters who are fighting or dealing with the gentrification of their communities. And for this, I'm going with Pride by E.B. Zoboy. And this is another book that I have been meaning to read for ages now. Not only is it a retelling of Pride and Prejudice with two black characters living in Harlem, I believe. I mean, with that setup alone, I am sold. It has been on my TBR for years now in, in the sense that I've been wanting to read it. So I finally managed to get a copy from the library. I debated on buying it. I kept going back and forth. And honestly, I probably will end up purchasing it because it's me. But Pride by E.B. Soboy. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Also, a Pride and Prejudice retelling. I'm there. <sighs> Say no more. Aunt number seven. F. Slut Shaming. Read a book with a character who loves to have sex and is utterly unapologetic about it. This one was actually a fun one because I'm going to pick one of my street lit books and whichever one I go with, I'm going to put right here for y'all to see. And that's because one of the things I really love about reading street lit is not only does it have an all black cast, so to speak, and all black characters, it's also unapologetically sexual in the sense that the characters are very, very unapologetic about how much they love sex and enjoy sex and it's not taboo it's not oh uh -huh. come here come here come here you're not gonna ruin my video today you're not but um sex in these books is not taboo um you know the women are not shamed for enjoying it the men obviously are never shamed but the women are really not shamed for enjoying having sex in their um their sexuality is not something that is judged or you know looked down upon in any way and I really like that about street lit books 
they're very just this is who I am this is what I like take it or leave it boom bada bing bada boom so whatever street lit book I need to read I will have up on the screen and read street lit okay prompt number eight F with yourself do something utterly selfish for yourself I honestly didn't even know what to go with but I think what I'm gonna do that's utterly selfish and just for me is buy books because that's what I do <laughs> technically I'm on a book buying ban of sorts hello so I came up with something better than just buying books and that is I'm gonna give myself a spa night meaning I am going to get out my face steamer and do a face mask and paint my nails and paint my toes and get out my foot massager and soak my feet Ooh, yes yes take a bath Ooh, bring out my essential oils that's exactly what I'm gonna do yes self-care self-care for the win honestly my bank account needs a break and finally we have the last prompt read the group book the source of self-regard by Toni Morrison um, I don't feel as much pressure to get to this one when your Chipotle comes anyway I don't feel as much pressure to get to that last one I love Toni Morrison's books I've read a couple in my lifetime uh, Song of Solomon is one of my absolute favorite books of all time and she's one of my absolute favorite writers of all time but I have so many books on my TBR I'm currently reading over 10 books at the moment including about five audiobooks I have these books and then I have books that rolled over literally y'all from quarantine from like April and May when I couldn't focus on reading because pandemic so I'm not gonna give myself as much pressure to read this one I definitely want to still purchase it but I'm waiting on that so if I get a good amount of books read from this list everything I just mentioned and you know wrap up the books I'm currently reading then I will definitely read the group book because I know she's going to do a wrap-up and I want to be able to join in the discussion um, when we wrap up this month and the epithon so So my camera battery died, but I'm just popping up on here to say that there is a live show wrapping up this readathon on August 1st, which I believe is a Saturday. So can't wait. See y'all there. There's my Chipotle. These are my crazy dogs. I'm gonna go. I'll catch y'all in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notifications bell so you always know when I'm filming another video. Love y'all. Bye. Do you love this hair? I love it. This hair. All the hair flips. All the hair flips.